Hi everyone, it's Holly and I am the maker here at Missouri River Soap and today I'm going to film a pack and chat. I have some time today, it's Saturday, so I have some time to really slow down and work on the video. Life has been very busy and so I haven't had a lot of time to do the videos but at the same time I haven't had a lot of orders so I have not felt the need to do a pack and chat, but I did get a bunch after my odds and extras went on the website, so I thought, let's do a little pack and chat. Now, it's very casual, very spontaneous. I didn't intend to do a video today. I don't have any makeup on. I'm very colorful, though. Don't you like all my color? So I am going to reposition the camera so that you can see what I'm doing, and let's pack some orders. So this first order is going to Illinois, and I actually sent a lot to Illinois. That is one of the my biggest ship to states. We have a calendula carrot and a vanilla latte soap. So let's see, I think I, I kind of pre-packed this one so I would know how I want to put it in. Um, I have some menthol scented steamers and I put these on sale because they just weren't moving and now they're almost gone so I'm thankful for that. And then as of the odds and extras, I have a Spring Vibes Sugared Whip Soap Scrub. I'm just calling it Whip Soap Scrub now, but look at the colors. Isn't it so pretty? And this was part of the Spring Vibes Easter set that was just so super cute. I have a little bit of white shred, creamy shred in here. So I, I just had a little bit, so I just mixed it in a little bit with my craft. It's part of what I was using for my um, my sets. So for the sample on this one, I have just a little um, egg-shaped bath bomb that I made some extras. I was trying to make a different mold at the time that was going to go in the set, but I could not get that mold to work and I had a um, funny story I had my bath bomb machine out and this is a bath bomb machine mold but I actually just hand pressed it and it worked great I still prefer the using the machine but I had put my machine off to the side and I needed to move quickly and I didn't have time to re wipe it down and sanitize it so I did not I just hand pressed it at the time so that is looking very cute. Now, I will say that, I need to fix my doodad here. As always, we are under construction. So if you hear pounding and sawing and stuff, I did open the window because I'm a little hot. So that's the story. It's something that we're gonna get used to that until we are completed, which, Probably not good. Once we get our cabin done, we're still going to be doing a shop and such. So we might have a winter break where we won't hear a bunch of pounding. Hopefully we'll be doing inside by then. So I just have a little 753 box here that I had already prepared from another day. And then I just used some bubble paper. And this cute little order is ready to go to Illinois. Okay, so do you remember what I said about Illinois? This one is also going to Illinois. The first one was going to Sharon, and this one is going to Karen. So, I love it. Going with another 753. And I think this says the boxery. I think I got this one off of Amazon. Sometimes Amazon just beats the bigger companies by the time they add the shipping. But sometimes I just do it because I'm in a pinch. And I'm working with my pretty green springy paper today. We're having a beautiful sunshiny day. I guess it's it's partly cloudy. I see my, my Doberman sitting in the sunshine. He's so cute. My husband is working on headers. Let's see. It doesn't look like my sun has gone out yet, but working on the headers, and those are the logs that go, have, they have to be cut, and they go up and around the windows and the door frames up at the tippy top. So into this order, we're doing Montana Lilac and Creamed Honey. Everyone's loving these two. I'm so excited. Now, 
The story with the creamed honey is this. Do you remember when I made honey butter soap? It was a tallow soap and a lot of my customers, okay, a lot of my customers love tallow, but also a lot of my customers prefer not to use an animal fat soap. So they said, can you please make that, but don't use the tallow? And so I did. Now the fragrance in honey butter was a little smoky and I have some customers that absolutely love it, but some find it a little too smoky. So with this one, I mixed in some of my sweet milk. So it still has that smoky dried fruits. Um, I think it has some rose in it, bergamot, stuff like that. So it's still very earthy, but then it has the sweetness and the vanilla and, stu and such from the sweet milk. It's really good. I just love the label on the Montana lilac. It makes me so happy. We're not gonna have lilacs here until about the end of May and it this is Easter weekend so we have a ways to go so we're also going in with the spring vibes scrub that one sold that one sold pretty quick I think most of these orders are going to have one of those in it so I'm going to put another one of the egg bath bombs that's probably going to be my sample of choice today because I want to get those gone and I have a lot of extra over there There we go. So I had somebody comment that it's like, haven't you been building this house forever? And I suppose it could seem like that, but we poured concrete at the very beginning of November and then my husband had to um, build all of the subfloor, which was a fair amount of work and the decking and prepare all the edges and such for the logs to start going up. So we'd only started the logs and uh, towards the end of February. So we've had to work with weather, of course. There's only so much that you can do around here sometimes, but it's nice that we've got the, the logs are about three quarters done, but there's a lot of work coming because I'll have to start notching for all our timbers. We just picked up our timbers from a lumber company on Monday, but all the timbers that will be for the ceiling so we look up and have those beautiful timbers but those those are going to go up after these headers and that's going to be a fair amount of work but my husband works a full-time job and then i like to go to town and <laughs> pick up packages and get a coffee and so i do take i do take some building time on occasion it's usually my fault so this package is ready to go to Karen. Yes, this one is Karen in Illinois. And I just want to say thank you to Sharon and Karen for your orders. I think that started to come out waiters. That, that didn't work out. Orders. So this order is going to Candace in Connecticut. Thank you for your order. I'm using a 964 for this box and it is from Paper Mart. The majority of my packaging materials comes from Paper Mart. They're my favorite. Um, they have this bubble paper. They have the boxes. They have the shred, the tissue, just all the things. And occasionally they run sale, well they run a lot of sales but they run a sale on shipping every now and again and I do try to stock up at that point. So this one has the Spring Vibe Scrub again and this label is different than it was in the box. The box had an Easter themed label and this one does not. We're putting in two of the Bunny Butt Bath Bombs and this is in Sweet Pea and Tulip. I adore this fragrance. It is my happy place. We are putting in some chocolate raspberry drizzle wax melts. These were Easter egg shaped. Aren't they adorable? I love this. Now I'm going to give a shout out to Magic Art Candles. They are a wax maker. And for my viewpoint, they were the first that I saw. They don't use these cups. They use a different cup. But using a biodegradable cup with a little, you know, tissue inside and so I want to give a shout out to them because I sort of did rip off their packaging a little bit but it was genius and perfect for these these are teeny tiny see these are teeny tiny this one is 1.4 ounces and this smells amazing 
just amazing. But I had to pour over a thousand of these teeny tiny. I think there's 20 or something in here. I had to pour over a thousand of these and I did not like that process. So I probably won't do that again, but we'll see. I might. So I have two of those and then I'm going to put in a bath bomb. I had green and yellow and this is a cream of sherbet type fragrance. So it's lime and orange and bright and cheerful and fun. So let's see here. I'm hoping that this is all going to go in here well. I could do that if I need to. I would like to not stack it, but um, this is the first time of even shipping these that aren't in my little um, box setup that I had. So for the bunnies, I want to give them some wrap. Now I cut a little bit off, like for the nine. These are 12 inches wide, so I cut at nine and then I have these extra pieces that I use for the bath bombs. So fun fact, maybe it's fun, <laughs> it may not be fun. Um, I didn't grow up celebrating Easter. Um, I did as I was a kid and then my parents took a little bit of a religious turn and so I did not celebrate Easter for most of my life and if I were still talking to my parents they'd be horrified probably but um, I didn't divert with the religious route when I was I was 40 or so 39 I was finally like you know what this is funny business and I you know we had some issues so that didn't seem to be resolved and so we my husband and I just moved on from that scenario so we still don't really celebrate Easter, but I do think I've always loved the the eggs and the bunnies and the cute the cute portion of it. So it's just it's still a kind of a weird thing for me really. Instead I'm not used to it. Let's see. These are fitting, but I'm wondering if I'm going to have room in this box for this sample because I really do want it to go. So I'm trying to, I'm thinking, hold on. There's plenty, I mean, there's, there's truly plenty of room. So let's just stick some shred back here and we'll put some more right here and then I think this can go in. These are very hard. I'm going to drop them on the floor and I don't think anything would happen. I mean, I wouldn't drop it on the floor cuz the floor and I are uh there's the there's the clean zone and then the floor is dirty zone as far as I'm concerned. So we don't mess around with things on the floor. I'm very particular about that. And you know like we have to have our shelving units have to be up above six inches and such above and the floor and everything and I'm just really particular about that because I have some pretty serious germaphobe issues so I was telling my friend the other day I haven't even sat in a restaurant since I think 2017 when I came to Montana the last time so yeah you're you're finding out some weird stuff about me today aren't you okay so I don't even have any wax melt samples to send so I'm not going to now um this particular customer has not ordered since um 2022 so welcome back and we're gonna put in a sticker still love these they're almost gone I love just I just love this color it makes me so happy and so then this one is going to be ready. Alright, so this order is going to Gretchen in Florida. Thank you for your order, Gretchen. I have a 753 box going. And into this one, we're doing sweet pea and tulip. I love this one, like I said. And this one is just the cutest little bunny shapes. 
I love them so much. Again, the minis, and this one was way just a smidgen less, but they're adorable. I'm not doing a lot of wax. I don't love wax making, and when I made the move and came up here to Montana and debated at the time whether I was going to reopen, I didn't plan to incorporate the wax, but I've had so many people ask for the wax that I decided I'll make some, but in a smaller quantities because it releases just a lot of scent. I have to wear a ventilator, um, the whole building. I mean, at this point we can't even store food out here because, um, because we live in our fifth wheel as we're building and we don't have any place to store food. So we have a back room that will eventually be my office, but right now it's just like a, there's like a desk back there for my son to hang out and tools and then we have you know like tissue and paper towels and stuff like that we do have a big freezer back there but um things with like a, a thin seal like saltine crackers is just a no-go because it absorbs into it i even made cornbread the other night and brought in a pan that was a brand new pan, but it had been sitting out here for a really long time and it smelled like it. So it just, it, and that's just mostly soap making. It just, it just, the scents permeate and that's just the way it is. You wanna hear a funny story? My camera bag that has been, that used to reside in my studio back in Missouri, I've had it in my, cause I don't use that camera anymore and so, that camera bag is in my closet in my camper and has been since October of 2022 and it still smells like, as strong as the day I put it in there. So that's just what happened. Now I'm feeling like this is not going well. This is just, I could put it there. I'll put it there, but I'm going to put a little, um, I always worry about my customers reaching in and grabbing these. It's not that sharp. I mean, you know, it's not that sharp, but I just I still worry about it. So I'm going to cover it. I just don't want that to happen. Let me just So I'm trying to think, what in the world sample am I going to put into this one? This box is is well, hmm. I could put in some leftovers of the other fragrance, but it's obvious this customer likes a fresher slash floral because this was green clover and aloe. So those are the chocolate raspberry drizzle and I just don't want to send that. I think we're going to, because of the size, I think I'm going to pop in a soap. Let's pop in a soap of some sort into this one. And that's the whole idea of the samples. A lot of times the customers don't try things and then I send the sample and they're like, ooh, I love that. So that's always my little bit of a hope is that I'll get, get somebody hooked on my soaps. That's what I'm here for. Speaking of soap, should we take a gander at something? Let me show you. So I made this soap yesterday and it, it went to hint of rye because it is tulip. Now it is still sweet pea and tulip, but it's reversed. This one is mostly tulip, but it's just a smidgen of the sweet pea, which the sweet pea that I use is just so bright and almost juicy and I love it so much. But isn't it pretty? Even in its wildness. This is a new mold. I just have to downsize y'all. I'm not selling enough to be making um, these huge batches anymore. And even the ones I'm making now are a step down from what I was making in Missouri. So I've heard that from a lot of makers. Sales are down, but hopefully Hopefully they'll pick back up. I know everyone's doing spring break right now. The rainbows are next, actually. So I hope that's going to be a really good one. It's not huge. It's not going to be extravaganza. We're not going to call it an extravaganza because it's not. But any who's it, new mold. And I have the cutest new little pots that I'm using. And mm, this smells amazing. I know I'm a little bit late on the tulip because by the time this is cured, I mean, we're past tulip season in a lot of places. But... My daughter was like, you want to make the soap, you make the soap. That's just how you roll, mom. I'm like, okay, I make the soap, but gave me a little bit of a challenge. All right, so I'm gonna pop in a very chunky strawberries and champagne type sample there. And I will show you my card. I do this every time, but I have this cute little card with my logo and 
my information there on the back. A little shaky as I like hold they get a little bent and a little shaky like that. Anywho, this that's what's happening there. And you know what? I'm gonna go see if this customer needs a sticker. So this customer is back from 2022 as well, so I'm gonna pop in a sticker. And then this one will be ready to go to Florida. So this is a first time order going to Sabrina in Ohio. We use this cutesy little box. It has no top, no bottom. It is just whatever. I don't know what to call it. It is a plain box. And it's just a six, four, three. Little bubble paper. Looks like I need to. So last night I was, I had made that soap and I was not stressed or anything, but it given me a bit of a run for my money. And so I decided to grab my knitting and I went in, well, my knitting was inside. I went inside, grabbed my knitting and sat down to watch a video. Well, I chose Tiggy with Future Primitive and cause she had a brand new video up and I loved it by the way and she even mentioned me which was really fun that I had just sat down to watch a comforting video from Tiggy and then she mentioned me that she watches my videos and we go along back you know she mentioned that we go back to blogger days like we're pre Facebook pre YouTube you know soapers OG soapers not really OG soapers because we're not that old we'd be really really like well, like Methuselah old, but anyway, we're putting in a banana buttermilk and a creamed honey. And so that was so fun. I really enjoyed that video, but Tiggy is running a GoFundMe right now. Um, her husband, Matt, has a potter. He does pottery. And I mean, he's done that for as long as Tiggy's done the soap, I think. And, um... Anyway, he's needing a new roof on the shed because his work studio shed, kind of like what I have here, only his is needs a new roof. And so there's some asbestos in the roof and it's leaking. And so I'm going to put the link down below. If you can go support Tiggy and Matt, they're awesome people. I would appreciate it. We go back a long ways. And so if there's anything that we can do to make sure we have a safe and happy environment so that Matt can work, that would be great. Because like I said, the soap business, it's a little on the slow side. So, so we, we all need a little bit of help here. And to be honest, I'm not even sure I'm going to finish my cabin. So <laughs> we'll see. We're just, we're, we're doing what we can as we, as we get there because gosh, things are way more expensive than when we originally quoted it. So anyway, whatever. Let's help each other as we're able to help each other. And for the most part of soapers, we stick together. We stick together. So I'm going to put in a coconut milk and aloe soap sample. We're going to, oh, I got to switch the invoice. Hold on. I have to fold this invoice different so that it'll fit in there. And then this one will be headed off to Ohio. I think I'll just do one more and then just put some hustle in this so that I can get my orders caught up today. So this next order has a steamer, but I didn't realize that I did not label all my steamers. They've been sitting up there for a while. So I printed the back just fine. And then what is this? This is like my new thing to deal with. It's like gobbledygook. I have no idea. It looks just right. Like here we go. So it looks right on the screen and it's getting confused between the computer and the printer. So what I'm having to do when this happens is I have to reopen Adobe Illustrator, which is why I don't have a front yet because 
we're trying apparently it's like I don't know what it's trying to do but it's taking forever to open and then I have to resave it and open it again and do it again so I don't I only have well I actually only have one left altogether but I need to label five of these so I really don't have to cut a whole bunch anyone else have this problem it doesn't matter like how close you get to the edge it still cuts wonky I've been struggling with that with this new new one especially it's just not cutting right it just is not so I remembered that my friend wanted to me wanted me to talk on this video the next pack and chat I did about how my husband and I met because the last pack and chat I did I talked about you know kind of how I started the business and I don't remember all of what I said but you know one two three four oh that's convenient five um my story of some sort and then she's like so she's like you know it'd be really fun it'd be fun to find out how you met so I guess I'll talk about that for a moment damn it why are you keep doing that I just like to know why are printers so dang stupid they're stupid they're so freaking stupid this is like my fifth label sheet that just to get what I need so there's a rogue there's a rogue label that I keep forgetting that I need to go delete off there so it sucks it back in and then prints the main one on the back so that doesn't work and I keep forgetting and going back and forth but my main pet peeve here is my my, my main gripe why is it if you go through 500 prompts on your computer okay 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 yes gosh darn it I do want to print this label why do I have to walk over to my printer and click the button okay like if I don't, it'll wait five minutes to print. I don't understand the concept. It just seems like technology. My husband works in technology. And he's like, Ugh, I've got some, I got some sticky, but I'm very scared to clean the sticky off from my um, waterproof labels I cut for the scrubs because I about took my finger off not too long ago and I had to quit working and because I cut myself so bad. Anyway, I don't understand. Why does it do it? Why is it so ornery? Apparently I'm learning to count today. Well, soap left behind there apparently from something. Anyway, I'm learning to count today apparently because there's only four. I love how how like they're like so like just perfect. Love these boxes. Any who's it? So, my parents moved us from Montana to Missouri in 1995, March to be precise. And it was horrible. I cried and cried when I got to Missouri. But any who's it? That was in 95. Well, I think in April of 96, my dad and my husband's dad which our belief systems were considerably different, but they were both, like we all went to this same Bible study place in Houston, Missouri. And my dad would teach some nights and his dad would teach some nights. And I had the biggest crush that could be had on my husband. In October, it was in the newspaper that he joined the Navy. I was so crushed. How was I going to look for him when we were going into town and <laughs> the Bible study and all of that? He, oh, he was my everything and he did not know it yet. So he went, so one of the last Bible studies, it was like a bonfire or something before he left for the Navy. I remember I made like a zucchini. I made like a zucchini apple cake or something. I don't remember exactly, but I sewed out of like a back jean pocket I sewed like this holder for a notepad because you know we're old and we did not have email at the time my husband went into the Navy and so 
I sewed him this jean pocket doodad and put in a notepad and I put in envelopes and stamps because I was obsessed and probably a little bit weird. When I hyper focus on something, I hyper focus on something. All right, that looks good. Did I do that right? I just want to make sure I'm also focusing because I can, I can lose my mind sometimes. So this order is going to Erica in Massachusetts. Thank you for your order, Erica. Erica has been with me a long time and I'm so thankful for my long-term customers, for the ones that have come back to me and all the brand new ones too. I just love customers. So we have the steamers. We have a sweet pea and tulips wax melt. We have a Montana Lilac and a Creamed Honey. We have a Lavender Bath Bomb, and my favorite shape ever. And then I have the uh, Sample Bath Bomb. So anyway, my husband went into the Navy. Obviously it wasn't my husband at the time. We literally said like two words to each other the whole time. That's how obsessed I was. Anyway, he went to boot camp at Great Lakes, and I didn't know any of this. And then he went to um, California, who was stationed in San Diego, and he deployed pretty quickly after boot camp. And he was on the uh, John Paul Jones, a guided missile destroyer. Anyway, he ended up writing to me, and as it turns out, I was the only one that ever wrote him back like from his family and everything like I'm literally the only one so we wrote back and forth he'd send me letters you know and he brought me things from Singapore and all these cool places and pictures of him feeding kangaroos in Australia and all that fun stuff so when he finally got back to San Diego he called me and we talked for a just hours. He said he spent so much money on calling cards because we talked a lot. And so it was October, an entire year later that he came back and we met up at um, his family's house. I was living in Kansas City. We did move to Kansas City in early 97. And so we went back to his parents' house. His mom made lasagna. I remember that. I remember the outfit that I wore. I remember all those things and that was a very fun time and so after that for a couple of years three couple yeah a couple of years we did not spend any more than just like a week or two at a time when he got to come home so we just didn't know what it was like to be around each other all the time was we had just I mean we we would be around each other for a lot you know just solid for a couple of weeks and then anyway I mean I was still pretty young but I was homeschooled and so but this was mostly summertime and stuff so it didn't really it wasn't really a time issue let's see if this guy is gonna go in yeah he's gonna go in right over here so anyway at the point that we got married in 99, we had not even been around each other for more than two weeks at a time. That was like the longest. And then he was set to deploy pretty early in September and then Hurricane Floyd came in and they sent the ship out, but they didn't make him go. He was working for the Admiral at that time for the Carrier Group 6. And so he got to come with me. I was living in Florida working in the Port Charlotte area and he was in Jacksonville at that time. So, um, Mayport Naval Station. So anyway, he got to come home, come back home. I'd already said my goodbye and then had to do it again. That was heartbreaking. But he ended up deploying to the Middle East and then he was not back until March of 2000. And then we've just like done our life thing. So I'm gonna add in 
the card and the invoice. And he still traveled a lot. He would travel with, I mean, he's been working for the same company since um, he got out of the Navy. But we did live, it, so in March of 2000, then we moved to, I moved, I had come back to Kansas City while he was deployed. And then I moved back to Florida to Jacksonville, where we lived in Ponte Vedra Beach, where I got my job at mailboxes, etc. And where kind of the whole packing dealio started. And then... I'm like staring out into oblivion trying to remember all the things. And then we came back to Kansas City in 2000 and he's been working for the same company since since that that time. 2001. 2001. We got married in 99. He deployed to the Middle East. And so we hadn't even lived in the same house or anything until we'd been married for seven months so that was interesting but that's our story that is the story and he always dreamed of coming west and he loved Louis L'Amour books and stuff like that he just always wanted to live the western lifestyle so it kind of worked out that he met a Montana girl okay oh I'm out of breath I really need to focus on my order so this one is going to Erica I think I have seven more to pack for today and I should be caught up. I don't have a ton. I mean, I have a lot of stock, but I don't have a huge like variation of stock. You know, I thought I was going to pack one more. Was I going to pack one more? Let me look. Okay. Yes. I'm going to call that good for now. I'm going to work on my other orders. I will probably, I remembered something. I have an order from Spa Treasures that I was going to show you. So I have not opened this yet, obviously. And it has, this package has been round. It has been a round. It, I kind of covered up all the information. Um, it has really had a journey. So it got all the way here to my mailbox and got sent back. <laughs> so the battery, it just, it just died and was like exhausted. And I'm like, I feel you, I feel you. So let's open this package. I don't know what it might have cut off. This is a package from Ingrid at Spa Treasures out of Nevada. And we have been friends and soap friends for a very long time, a very, very long time. And I ordered from Ingrid and it got all the way here, got sent back, was in Vegas, was supposed to be picked up, and then it ended up in Texas. Who knows? Anyway, it's finally here. So, ooh, feel free to tag and share. Oh, I love that sticker, Ingrid. Oh, there's Ingrid's the info. Hopefully it's focusing. If not, I will put it there for you. We got the greeny vibes going on. I don't even remember what I ordered, so this is fun. Ooh. Oh, you're showing me up on these cards. Ooh, that is pretty. Let me see what's on there. Oop. Wow. This is a beautiful card, Ingrid. Love it. That is delightful. Got the whole rainbow vibe going on. I've been wanting to buy some of these, too. I really do need some of these. Okay. Let's move my shred out of the way. Okay. Ooh, chronic pain balm. I'd forgotten that I'd, I'd ordered that. So we have some chronic, chronic pain balm. It's probably focusing on me. Let me see if I can turn off the product showcase. So I actually wanted to turn on the product showcase, but I can't seem to figure it out. So <laughs> here we have the chronic pain balm. I just thought that might be a nice thing to have, especially my husband is Doing all that building. Just a nice, nice balm. Love that. I think it's really sore. Ooh, a sample of foaming. Ooh, foaming whipped soap. I should do more samples of this type of stuff. This is warm vanilla sugar. I love it. And look how cute. It's just the cutest thing ever. I love that. I love that. Let's see what else we have in it. Down the inhale. Okay. Ooh, I'm very excited about this. 
pink lemonade emulsified sugar scrub. Now I don't make I don't make emulsified sugar scrub, but I'm quite excited about this. We have a tamper proof seal here that I love. We've got a foam seal. That smells amazing. I think that that looks awesome, doesn't it? Smells amazing. I love to get new products. You know, we, we all make our own things and sometimes it's just nice to try something different. Oh, I love this frosted bottle. So I got hyaluronic acid facial serum because I'm getting old. I'm getting old, you know, so we need to need to do what we can for all these wrinkles that are appearing. Activated charcoal clay antioxidant mask. So it kind of it kind of slips forward, but you might be able to kind of see. Kind of gives you a a vision. I like these labels. My problem is is I put 500 million quadrillion warnings on mine and it takes takes up a lot of space, but I love this. That's great. That is great. And so I got some French clay and activated charcoal soap. I always love these type of things. And let's see. Yes, it's a spearmint, lime, lavender, lemon, and pink grapefruit. Oh, I love spearmint. I actually just bought spearmint because I got a sample soap in my yarnable and it had spearmint and my daughter and I both about came undone. So I also got unscented because you know how I love unscented soaps. It's so fantastic. And unscented soaps not picking up on anything right now because I'm smelling the the uh, spearmint. Oh, so good. Anyway, unscented soaps usually do have a little bit of a scent. Okay, I think that's what I ordered. I love it. Thank you, Ingrid. Perfection. I'm so glad that it arrived. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so in the time that I have dilly daddled filming the package out, I could have gotten all of my orders pack so i am going to see if i can go do a little bit of the hustle and get my stuff done because it is saturday and who's supposed to be working on saturday not me but my husband's working on the cabin and i can't see anybody but i think my son's out there now too so that's what we're going to do is do the worky worky thanks so much for watching i hope you'll check out the website moriversoap.com on Instagram, I'm Mo River Soap, and on Facebook, I'm, I hope I'm looking in the right place, and on Facebook, I am Missouri River Soap. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you will give it a like, subscribe. I do soap making, I do occasional scrub videos, and the pack and chats. I do occasional things on occasion. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later, dudes. So you can tell most of our snow is melting. It's a little bit more cloudy than it was a little bit ago, but I love it and let us zoom in. Look at the cabin. So you can see there on the left, that's going to be my front door. You can see how the header is going over the front door. I can't really zoom any further and the truck is kind of in the way, but they're working on that end of the house. <gasps> Here comes the Doberman. <gasps> Hi, Ripley Dipley. Here he comes. He's a good boy. <coughs> oh my goodness, it's mom. It's mom. Hi. Hello, cuteness. Oh, here comes the other. <gasps> Chunky! Hi, guys! Hi, guys! You're so cute! Yes, you are! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! You're so cute! Your mom's face happy ever! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! Oh, that's cute! You got a stick! So the booty waggles? Whoa, we gotta zoom out. 
Maverick, do you do booty wiggles? Maverick, Maverick. Oh, you have a stick too? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's a booty wiggle. It was very icy. I had to have boards, but I think we can take those off now. Okay, bye later, dudes.